Good evening, everyone. The two teenage girls are back on Gold Coast streets less than 24 hours after being dragged from a Surface Paradise hotel by police accused of a wild crime spree. The pair were among eight taken into custody. The mass arrest has appalled local leaders who are planning to boost security on public transport as fears escalate of the rise of youth crime. Marched out of a hotel and into a police car. North side on top. Eight teenagers. They do tend to operate in, uh, in groups. Uh, you know, there's a social aspect to their criminal activity. Two of the girls are accused of stealing Tyler Howitt's Honda Civic. The 17-year-old now on bail. The 15-year-old let off with a caution. I think it's disgusting. 18-year-old Dylan Simmons was allegedly behind the wheel. Simo. Simo. Flaunting the wild ride on social media along with Tyler's designer handbag. It's a sport to them. Um, there's no remorse. Today, Dylan Simmons faced a magistrate in Southport, but Seven News was denied access to the courtroom for legal reasons. And people have a right to know who these people are um, so we can stop them. The war on youth crime creating growing frustration. It is out of control, there's no doubt. Council wants action. We've been calling too for uh, security on the light rail. A report looking into Queensland's youth justice system is yet to be released. We have been told this week that that report is uh, completed and is being considered. Well, I think the time for consideration is over. We need to see that report in the public realm. To help keep the public safe, a step closer to making our streets safer. Now, that 17-year-old girl who was released on bail will face a magistrate here in Southport next week. But it's clear that these arrests have really raised many questions about Queensland's youth justice system. Coming up in the news at 6, Police Commissioner Katarina Carroll will address those, uh, those questions uh, in an exclusive sit-down uh, addressing the war on youth crime.